Hello, happy Monday. I am Megan Jacks, kind of here with a special um, Facebook Live. Very excited to be sharing with you a new product from Creative Memories. And it's an updated version of a Creative Memories classic, the personal trimmer, as you all know, um, and we love the guillotine style uh, trimmer that we've used for decades to trim our photos has recently been updated by Creative Memories. They have a new one out now, the new photo trimmer. So it is um, called the photo trimmer as compared to our personal trimmer. And I have um, Creative Memories sent out some advanced copies of it to a few advisors and I was lucky enough to get one of them. So I have it here to share with you guys as well as the Rainbow Dots trimmer bag. And there's it's pretty fantastic. I got them on Friday. Uh, just as a quick caveat, I got them on Friday and it was very fun, exciting to see them. And then overnight I had a tooth that just like flared up massive. So I ended up having a tooth pulled Saturday morning. So I was kind of out of it. Didn't really play as much with them as I would have liked to, but I am super excited to be able to share them with you today. They are available to order on the website. The bundles are, I'm gonna talk about the bundles a little bit, but before we keep going too far into this, I wanna get right down here to the trimmer to show you guys how fantastic it is. If you are tuning in to this Facebook Live, go ahead and type in the comments. I would love to see where you're tuning in from. Um, I am gonna be recording this and putting it on to YouTube later to share for those who um, watch YouTube. So if you're catching this on YouTube, thanks for joining in. Um, this, everything I show you today is available to order on the Creative Memories website. And just as a huge thing is when you're ordering from Creative Memories, always make sure you shop with an advisor. You can um, look under your location to find an advisor close to you, or you're welcome to shop with me or, you know, anybody you follow on uh, social media with Creative Memories or a local advisor. That'd be pretty fantastic. We always appreciate that kind of support. But let me dive into this so I can show you guys kind of what the, you know, the old trimmer that you're very familiar with, the old personal trimmer, and then we'll talk about the new one as well. So here is the new personal trimmer, and I'm going to show you my version of the old. I have the old darker blue one um, just because that's just what I have. And as you know, you buy one and you have it forever, right? It's a guillotine style. The blade really doesn't ever need to be sharpened. Creative Memories does tell us that this new one, the blade is good for 50,000 cuts. So that's a lot of photos to trim. And it's more than just photos. You can definitely cut paper, mats, anything you want with this. They, um, they call it the photo trimmer because they want to separate it. Um, function wise a little bit from the larger 12 inch rotary trimmer. The 12 inch rotary trimmer does not cut photos that well. Um, it's not really designed to cut photos. This guillotine style photo trimmer is definitely designed to cut photos and but you can also cut paper. So don't think that you can't um, do that. But you can see here the size difference between the two, the older uh, trimmer and the new one. And the biggest difference here and the biggest improvement that I am probably the most excited about is the ability to cut a four by six or even a five by seven photo. And you have measurements that go all the way here because what's even better is look at this. We have an arm that pulls out to give us those extended measurements. We know with the old personal trimmer, you it came out here at about four and three quarters. But if you were coming out to five or six inches, you really had to mm, kind of hack the way you used it. All right, so you would maybe have to come in with your four by six. If you wanted to cut, say a photo, I just grabbed some old photos here. If I wanted to cut this photo down to four and, or, you know, five, five and a half inches, I really had to kind of either mark it with a ruler. I, a lot of times would trim off half and then rotate it really fast and check my measurement along the edge here and then rotate back and cut it again. Whereas with this one, if I want to cut this down up to five and a half inches, I want to trim off. I want to set it, it's just a, it's a little like ground squirrel. Um, if I wanted to trim this off and kind of center in on this, it's so easy for me to do. I can just slide this in. I lift up my arm, slide my photo in. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to trim off a quarter inch off of each edge. And I'm just going to line it up at five and three quarters and trim. I can rotate my piece of paper or my photo around, I'm bringing it in another quarter of inch to five and a half. And right there, I have easily trimmed that to five and a half inches. We're on this trimmer over here. Let me grab another photo. I actually have, I think the same photo. If I wanted to trim it 
we'll just use this one. If I wanted to trim this one to four and a half, to six, or to five and a half inches, I had to trim a little bit off. I just eyeballed that. I have no idea, right? I don't know how wide five and a half inches is over here. And I have to come here and check. Yeah, I trimmed off just a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna sneak a little bit here and then rotate it back. And you just kind of had to do that, keep wiggling back and forth. Whereas a new trimmer, I won't have to do that anymore. I can have precise cuts for those widths that were larger than four and three quarters inches without having to rotate anything. So that is definitely a huge bonus, in my opinion, the ability to cut those. And you look at all these measurements that are on there, you can see they go three by three, four by four, they give you four by six, four and a half by six and a half, and they come down here to five by seven. But we actually have a trimmer bed that comes all the way down to like eight and a half inches. So you have a great uh, amount. It comes over here to 10 and a half inches. You can see that arm is extended out. So it's a really great way to be able to do those larger photos without having to rotate things. If you have an eight by 10, you need to um, chop, chop down. You can, you can do um, an eight by 10 that is horizontal. Uh, if you need to cut uh, inches off the 10 inch side, you would need to use your rotary trimmer the rotary trimmer can cut photos. It's just um, the, pho the photo trimmer here, the blades, you won't wear the blade out on the photo trimmer cutting photos. Like when you cut with the rotary trimmer and you're cutting photos, it's gonna wear the blade, a the ro that rotary blade a little bit faster. So here, if we look at this, it's so easy for me to just cut these photos down to size. I have already trimmed this to five and a half inches. If I wanted to come in to make this three and a half by five and a half, maybe I would have put it on a four by six mat. I could just cut a quarter inch off the top. I could cut a quarter inch off the bottom. Bring it to four and a half by to five and a half by three and a half. Really, really easy. Um, you can definitely. I see a question coming in. Um, you can cut paper with this. The the photo this photo trimmer. You can cut paper. So if you need to cut down your mats. You need to cut down smaller pieces of paper. I'm going to tell you, look at that we have on here. Do you see that 45 degree line? Do you know how excited I am to be able to use a 45 degree line on this style of trimmer? Just because a lot of times when we're making 45 degree cuts, we have a smaller, like a strip of paper, and it's going to be so easy to come in here and just slide that sucker in here right along the edge. I've shown you before how we, you can use a template to make it. I'll have to pull up an old video that shows how you can make a a template, a 45 degree template, and you'd be able to just whack it right along here, use this guillotine and slice. Now, one of the things I wanna talk about too is because I know um, some feedback on the old trimmer, uh, the old personal trimmer, the guillotine style, is people commented that they were not getting straight cuts. With the old personal trimmer, you definitely, when you used it, you needed to make sure you kept a little bit of pressure pushing over here towards this metal edge. Here, because we're basically it's a friction cut, which means we are scraping two pieces of metal right next to each other. And the blade is sharp, but it's not like, like super sharp. The true work here that we're having is these two pieces of metal that just come in here and scrape right against each other and cut for us. So if on the old trimmer, if you weren't keeping that pressure in on here to increase that function, it, or the friction, the, the, the two pieces of metal next to each other, you could have a tendency where it might pull your photo a little bit, you wouldn't get a nice crisp cut. With this new trimmer, one of the design improvements they did is they put a spring in here that really keeps this blue arm automatically kind of pulled towards the trimmer. So when you push down on it, you, you can actually, if you, you may be able to even to hear, I'll come here next to my microphone, I don't know if you can hear that or not. You can hear the metal on metal as it's scraping by each other, which is gonna give you that nice crisp cut. You can still keep, if you are if you habitually keep a little bit of pressure on there, you definitely can continue to do that, but you'll see that you don't necessarily have to um, think about it and make it a um, something that you just do when you're trimming. The trimmer is gonna help you out with that. The other um, thing I wanted to talk about when people talk about using the guillotine style trimmers, one of the challenges of the old personal trimmer was if you did not get your arm all the way up, didn't get that arm all the way up, what could happen is that your photo could get cut a little bit mm -hmm. crooked 
especially if you came in and you brought your photo in and you maybe you pushed it over to the side. Like say I want to cut this photo down to four and a half inches wide. And I would come over here to four and a half and then I would push up. And then I would cut. Well, what would happen, and this is regardless of which style of trimmer you're using, the technique when you use a guillotine style trimmer to cut your paper or to cut your photos or to cut anything, you want to make sure you are starting at this top edge. Come over here to this other one. You want to start at this top edge and you want to slide over to your measurements. Don't come down here to your measurement and then push up because what could happen is you could have, if your trimmer isn't all the way up, if you come down here at the bottom and you push up and your trimmer is not all the way up, your cutting arm, you're going to get a crooked cut because your trimmer arm right here is not letting this corner come all the way flush with the top of your cutter. So you always want to make sure you come in here flush with the top edge of your trimmer, the top of the trimmer bed, and slide over. Lift your arm all the way up. If you don't have your arm lifted all the way up, when you try to slide it over, you're going to hit. I'm hitting. I can't go over all the way, which tells me I got to lift my arm all the way up. This new uh, photo trimmer has a really good clearance under here. This trimmer was a little bit tight, meaning that um, you had to lift this up and really make sure it was maxed out all the way up. Whereas this one has a little bit more clearance. So you'll be able to push all the way to top and slide over to the measurement that you want. Um, for like this particular photo, it's centered pretty well. This, this um, it's from the uh, volcanic uh, Mount St. Helens. So if I wanted to just trim down, if I want to cut a quarter inch off of all the way around it, I want to bring this down to um, I'm going to three and a half by five and a half. I can just line it up. See, I'm coming all the way to the top, pull, pushing it over and lining it up. This first cut is going to take a quarter inch off and I just keep working around. Now I'm going to push it over, bring it here to three and a half inches, rotate it around. I'm going to take that quarter inch off the bottom, which is going to bring me to that five and a half inches. Four simple cuts to be able to take off exactly what you need on the side. Now for these photos, it was great because the photo is pretty much centered. I just wanted to take off um, a quarter inch all the way, or um, I took off a quarter inch off of all four sides. So I'd be able to easily map this on a four by six photo or a four by six mat. So it's a really great option. Um, one thing about this, the biggest difference here with this trimmer versus the other trimmer that you, um, depending on how you used your old trimmer, your old photo trimmer, the biggest difference between the two is there's no drawer storage, all right? So before we had the drawer storage, right, which you could store your custom cutting system, to uh, blades, you could store M&Ms in there. I mean, to me, that would have been like ideal for me. I, maybe not living in Phoenix where it's super hot. But I could have easily had, you know, just a whole stash full of like squirrel away some M&Ms in there for um, use if you need to. But it did have the drawer. There is no drawer on this new trimmer, but there is still storage back there. And the storage is for scissors. So I want to show you how those fit in here. You have room to store your micro tip scissors without the cover. Those will come in here as such. And it also will store the other um, multi-purpose scissors. I probably should have. Uh, <laughs> there we go. They get they they fit in there. So those will store in there. And then when we talk about storage, of course the question is always well. How do you carry this? Where do you put this in your whole travel system? Well, that's where Creative Memories has given us a new trimmer bag. It is designed to hold your trimmers and all of your trimmers, at least all three of the current trimmers that Creative Memories offers. So we have our personal trimmer, or excuse me, the new photo trimmer. We have the fantastic rotary trimmer, right? And we also have the 12 inch decorative trimmer, 
right? So here's the three trimmers that Creative Memories currently offers. We have our photo trimmer, we have our 12 inch order trimmer, and we have our deco trimmer. So these are the three wonderful products that they offer. So what is really great, I'm gonna set the deco trimmer to the side, trust me, it's gonna get packed with this, but I wanna show you how these two, the, the rotary trimmer and the uh, photo trimmer, how they interact with each other because it was specifically, Creative Memories designed them specifically to fit together when you need to travel, all right? So you'll see here on the bottom, we have a notch. So this notch is purposely designed to be able to straddle the cartridge arm of our rotary trimmer. So when you put this on here, it's gonna fit like such. One thing I want you to note is our logos are opposite each other. All right, so our, our, our rotary trimmer, our logo's at the top. On our photo trimmer, our logo is at the bottom. That allows them to nestle. See how it clears that, um, gar, uh, the arm? And it also will help keep this locked in at the top. Everything here is locked in, ready to go. So now, with our wonderful trimmer bag, the Rainbow Dots trimmer bag, guys, this, they did a fantastic job on this. I'm, I, I'm, I'm honestly telling you that. It's not the fact that I want you to buy like thousands of these things. I literally want to tell you this is a really well-designed bag. So it has some uh, latches that you open up and you can see here inside. It's Rainbow Dot with the Island Water Interior. When you get this, you will have a strap. This is like your shoulder strap. There's also going to be a piece here at the bottom or it kind of floats in there. This is your reinforcement piece that goes in the bottom of your bag to give it some reinforcement on the bottom. I also wanna highlight there is a elastic strap in there. And that elastic strap, you're going to, when you put these pieces in here, you're gonna slide them in, lift up your elastic strap and you'll put these in there. That elastic strap is gonna help hold everything in place. All right, it holds everything in place. But there's still extra space in here. There's room for four pens. You've got some other small pockets. They even came in on the back here. Look at this, they gave us a flat storage. You can put um, anything that's flat in here. You've got the full rigidity of the length because you have your trimmer in there. So you know me when I'm shoving in there, rulers, tearing tools, you could put um, the foam squares, you could put a small amount of, um, you know, some photos in there if you wanted to. Anything that is flat, you could store in there. You could put some tools in here, you know, like your pens, um, but you do still have space in here. The elastic has a little bit of give to it. It's keeping everything snug, but it does have room in here. Sorry, I'm not really keeping this open well for you guys to see. So what does it mean? It means, our beloved deco trimmer, you can slide that in here as well. It's just gonna slide in here behind and everything is gonna snap up nice and snug. Still plenty of space to put in some things back here. I also wanna highlight if you have a rolling bag or some sort, we have got a space for you to be able to slide this down over the handle, all right? So if you are traveling, you can carry this over your shoulder. It has a shoulder strap. You can slide this down the handle of your care of your rolling bag. Uh, so it's they, they really have a thought of pretty much everything. I'm not sure what else we could add to this. Um, I like the fact that it's not too cumbersome in the sense of when you take this travel with this to a crop or someplace like that, you can take everything you need out of it and just set it to the side. It's not gonna take up a lot of space underneath your table because uh, that's the one thing when you travel is, you know, if you have a lot of bulky storage and travel stuff, when you go to your event or your crop or whatever, where do you put all of that, right? I mean, you could put it maybe in your hotel room, but this is just gonna be pretty fantastic. Um, yeah, yes, it's, it is great because everything fits in there. Um, so I do, I saw a question about, um, again, about cutting, paper with the photo trimmer. You can cut paper, you can cut mats. It's, a, it's just a traditional friction style. They wanted to call it, Creative Memory said they're gonna call it the photo trimmer to highlight the fact that you, this is really the one you wanna cut photos with rather than your 12 inch rotary trimmer. 
Uh, you are going to have uh, crisper cuts. You will not wear out your rotary blades as fast. Um, I do see a question. Um, Julie's asking, is a new uh, trimmer plain safe? I want to say yes, it is. Um, because you are, it's, it's a friction style cut. It doesn't really have a sharp blade, um, but your mileage may vary. If anyone on here has traveled with the personal trimmer, I traveled with the personal trimmer and I'm pretty certain the old personal trimmer, I traveled with it and I'm pretty certain I was able to, um, had no problems. The rotary trimmer, it's just big. And so I usually would just go ahead and toss that into my luggage. Um, you could toss this whole kit and caboodle into your luggage now, like your checked luggage if you wanted to. Everything in there is pretty pretty secure and padded and whatnot. Um, so yes, it does fit all three of those trimmers. You're going to put your tearing tools in the back. I don't know for sure, but with Creative Memories coming out with that, the most recent um, core, you know, the white core cardstock that we just had, the, the, um, the, the, uh, cardstock buffet for we might see a tearing tool come out here in the near future another one I don't know for sure but if you have them I know many of us you know we have a whole room full of products that we need to be able to take with us to various places when we do travel for crops and so this trimmer bag is definitely going to suit your needs for that I do not have the handle the carrying um, piece on here it does have a handle at the top so you can carry it briefcase style you can also put your straps the straps on their adjustable. So if you want to carry it more as a purse style, you can. You can also carry it crossbody if that is something you prefer. So um, I think that's all I really have to share with you guys. I just wanted to do a quick highlight of all the great stuff that's part of this, especially the trimmer bundle. I do want to, I quickly what I'm going to talk about though, right now, Creative Memories has this available as a bundle. So your bundle options for this, um, right, the, the caveat being that if you want the photo trimmer and you're ordering from the Creative Memories website, remember, shop with an advisor if you're shopping on creativememories.com. If you order from creativememories.com, you will be able to choose from one of three different bundles. Right now, the trimmer, the new photo trimmer, is only available via the bundle. It will become available as a standalone product on August 26th, so the, towards the end of the month. But right now, we have about three weeks where we will, this will be available via one of three bundles. The first bundle is the trimmer plus the bag. And that bundle is $55, and this is US dollars. Now, if you want to um, really maximize your storage on your trimmer here, and you've already gotten scissors, you can order a bundle that includes the bag, the trimmer and both pairs of scissors here. That bundle is $70.50. There is a little bit of savings built in. There's, uh, They tell us that the savings is actually on the Rainbow Dots trimmer bag. You're saving about $3 when you buy it as a bundle. As far as I know, the Rainbow Dots trimmer bag will not be available separate. You will have to buy it as part of the trimmer bundle. So if you're saying, I gotta have that bag, Right now, it is available only with in the bundle, and I'm not sure if it will ever be available outside of the bundle through Creative Memories. Now, there is a third bundle, a third kind of a deluxe bundle, that would include the 12-inch rotary trimmer. Maybe you haven't invested in the rotary trimmer yet. Maybe you're newer to scrapbooking or newer to Creative Memories products. Um, this is going to be a great time if you have not already purchased the rotary trimmer. You can get all three of these products together with the scissors, and that is $119.50. So those are kind of the three different bundles that Creative Memories has available right now there. It's on the website, so you can go and check it all out. There's probably going to be a lot more that you're going to see about this new photo trimmer. This is a product that's been a long time coming. Creative Memories really has used a, their very classic design for several decades at this point. So we're very excited to see this. Um, I love, there's so many parts of this I love. I love the guillotine style. That's a style I've always appreciated when it comes to using the photos, or to trimming photos. So I'm excited to see this new variation. We've got some, a bigger bed, It's but it's it's bigger, but it's not like crazy big. Like you could still 
take this if you're one of those persons that likes to go to the coffee shop and crop. This is going to fit easily on a coffee, you know, when you're having uh, coffee with friends or doing that type of stuff. So definitely um, it's bigger, but it's not really like humongous. So, all right. I think that's all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to share this with you because it's so exciting. I do appreciate Creative Memory sending it out. Um, there was a few advisors who did, um, were able to get it ahead of time. I do have to thank each and every one of you who are my customers in order for me because you are the ones who helped me get to the point where I was um, able to get the product early to share. So um, definitely take a look at the Creative Memories website. As I already said, shop with an advisor when you shop with creativememories.com. If you don't have an advisor you're currently working with, you're more than welcome to uh, shop with me. You can also use the advisor locator to maybe find an advisor close to you. And maybe you'll you know check out the event listings as well. You never know what's in your area for event listings. We're going to be coming up into the Croptoberfest season here in the next couple of months. And that's a great time to gather with friends. Um, if you have friends you scrapbook with, that's fantastic. If you don't, maybe this is the perfect time for you to find that new tribe of like-minded ladies who enjoy memory keeping as much as you do. All right. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you came in late to this, I am going to be uh, posting this onto my YouTube channel just because I, I like it, guys. I really, really am excited about it. I cannot wait to be um, sharing it as part of, you know, the scrapbook lives and the power hours and all those things, the content that we do and using this product. So I hope you all enjoy it as well. If you have questions about the product, feel free to shoot me a message um, and I will try to get back to you as quickly as I can uh, with what I know. Um, creative memories. I do want to say if this bundle, these bundles sell out, creative memories told us they have, this is the trimmer itself. The photo trimmer is going to be a product that's going to stay around for a while. Um, if for some reason it were to sell out on the website, they have more coming. They have several shipments of these things. They're going to be arriving over the next several months. So it could be that it sells out because you know how we are, right? We love this kind of stuff. So it might, it could, I don't know. I really don't know. If it does, if you see it says out of stock, just know more is coming. So if you've missed it on this initial um, round of it, I'm really hoping that it stays. I, I know they ordered a lot. Um, just know that there will be more coming. So if you miss out on it the very first time, you know, more is coming. All right. So thanks so much for joining me. I will see hopefully many of you on Wednesday with Scrapbook Live. I will be getting all the details out for that. Um, but that will be 10 a.m. on Wednesday. And, uh, but between now and then, I hope you guys have a fantastic start to your week. And like I said, if you've got questions, shoot me a message. I'll be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching.